almost there. This is crazy. That's that true. was huge. What the hell was that? It, it was white. Don't know. Which way have we got to go? I don't even see properly. Keep going. Fuck. Struggling. This is the problem that you can slide right into that. So right now we are in the middle of nowhere uh, so sat nav's taking us off road we are heading to Hawaii forest i think i pronounced that right this forest is meant to be the most haunted forest in the world the audi q7 is going off road again i do not have mud tires on this car but bucky's gonna show you what what the problem is we're sliding sideways audi we need some tires hit me up because he's got normal road tires on they kind of just turn into slicks because they gather that much mud on them. They just turn into slicks. We're gonna get into that, but there's a spot in the forest that's just like a huge. So we are taking it to the next level again. The Q7 for day two is off-roading. We are taking the Q7 to its limit of off-road capabilities. And yeah, we don't have mud tires on. Doesn't show him going across the field, it doesn't go across a rocky thing. So I don't yeah. Tried it in a field, yeah. Again, I'm going to say this again, guys. Go and tag Audi in, uh, in, on Twitter. We need a Q7 from Morocco. And a pit back at home. Back right, so play. we have 2.4 kilometers. We have 2.4 kilometers left to drive. We are in off road mode. This is now going to be old tracks. Let's see how the Q7 does. So far on this trip, the Audi's covered almost 5,000 miles from the UK or for all these countries into Romania and we've literally come backwards and forwards from one side to the other in Romania because we wasn't prepared for how big Romania was. So 5,000 miles so far and we have another inside Romania 700 miles to go. Then I've got to drive 1,700 miles back home. So in total, this car would have covered 8,000 miles Without a hiccup, we pray. All right, Dan, show us what you can do. We can do this. I don't know, man. This is pretty. This is insane. really slippery. Yeah. Dude, we're literally just sliding everywhere. I have faith in the Q7. I think the road's going down to your right. Well, this is. I'm following the road. 
Oh wait, well, that way. Yeah, up on the right, but I don't think you, you won't get this up there. Oh yeah, well. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't reckon. No, it's no. too much of a step to tilt. I would go back. Yeah. Okay. Just because of these tires, if you had flip more tires on, you'd probably if we, do If we better. had mud tires on, we'd be able to get up there. Well, the thing is, this mud is weird. It's just sticking. It's, it's like it's like clay. Yeah. We've got it back where I live. There's a place called the Pit we go on. It's an old, it's an old clay mining place. Oh. And the mud's no, just like clay. We could tip over in this bit. Do you reckon? Oh, it's quite bad. Look, you see that? Yeah. yeah. It's rough. Best going up that way. But to the left, you've got to more chance of falling over going up to the left. It's steeper. Yeah. So you gotta, you gotta cross your wheels. You gotta get one wheel in the grill and one wheel up on there. You sure? Yeah, just take it slow though, and then you wanna cross over stuff. Shouldn't tip. Would See if it'll go up it. Yeah, cross to the left. I take it left. Oh. Hey, it didn't do fuck, it didn't do bad. Right, go forward, not yeah. Ah, boys, I'm doing it. Yes, that's how we do it. Didn't yes, have, didn't do bad that. We're sliding all over the place, oh. but we oh, made this it. looks a lot worse though. I don't know, yeah, this man. Is worse. We might have to walk. Oh, the rest. dude, it's getting bad. I think we should walk it, guys. We're gonna get stuck, legit. We will get stuck here. You wanna if you're going anywhere, you wanna go to the right, so only yeah, one wheel goes deep. in it. Because if you go there, you'll slide down that hill. That's really deep. Yeah, it'll do it. It'll do it. It's gonna rock it. Rocky, you're right. Do you see where I see where, where there's a track there for the left wheel and up on normal mud on the right? Yeah, I feel like we should just walk. But you're gonna drop back in it, you have to go further back first. Guys, I'm gonna go for it. This is one small step for Explorer, one giant leap for the Audi Q7. Right, the Audi uh, unfortunately will not make it up there. It's like a clay, a thick clay, and you can see it on the wheels. Uh, we didn't have mud tyres on these, are just ro normal road tyres, so it couldn't make it up there. But that's a great opportunity for next time. Give some new wheels, Audi. Yeah, it'd be amazing on mud tyres, but these are just normal road tyres. And they're pretty worn down, considering we've just done 5,000 mile on them too. Um, that clay, it just didn't... I mean, I could have probably got it through, but I don't want to risk us getting stuck. I think it was more of the, the sliding more than anything. If we slid down that old bank in there, yeah. it'd just roll on you. Yeah. I don't know what, but this is the start of the forest and obviously something doesn't want us going in there. Like the Q7 can't even get up there. It's true Bucky, it's true. And look at this, it's absolutely amazing. Bucky, do you want to park it up? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he missed. This is the forest right here. Well, this is part of it. This is just the beginning. There's a part in the forest. So there is a part in this forest where nothing grows. So there's a circle in the forest. Nothing grows. It is like a dead man land. There's a dog. Random dog then. Okay, so dangers in this forest. So we have ghouls, ghosts, zombies, um, creatures, uh, dark entities, dark forces, dark shadows, wolves, bears, dogs, and the viper snake. That's just off the top of my head. Never mind what else is lurking in these forests. Wish me luck. I can hear what I think dogs, but I thought I heard a howl as well. Bucky. Bucky. Open that roof box. We need to get supplies. Right, what do we have in our goodie bag today? Let's uh, let's get out and find out. Don't forget, Polly Mill sent me a bunch of supplies and a lot of it is gonna come in handy. So this bag is so heavy now. With the amount of equipment I've got inside this bag, and it all fits, look, this is how heavy it is. It's supporting me falling all the way back. Um, this is a 5'11 backpack. This was a first responder backpack, so medicals and all that kind of stuff. But we're taking it to a different level. We have packed it full of survival equipment. Let's open it up and find out. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm so glad we ain't going to be carrying this full rucksack because it weighs about 80 kilogram. 
right now I'm taking the 511 backpack, lightweight, it's going to come in handy. Uh, so we have the trap camera, which we're going to stick to a tree and see what we can capture. We're taking the fold out spade, can you be used as a weapon as well to defend against wolves or whatever else. Uh, I'm taking the Gerber uh, multi-tool as well, it's got a knife and stuff on it, you never know. Uh, we're taking the binoculars, which is Corley holding night vision binoculars. And I've got the thermal camera as well, don't forget. So uh, I think we're going to, good to go. Definitely. So we have a big danger in this forest. Not only do we have the superstition, the paranormal, all the mythical stories about this forest. We don't have just all that danger to deal with. We have real life danger. We have brown birds now. Romania has the biggest colony of brown birds. We also have Transylvanian wolves. You can hear the wolves in the forest. No, I think that's a horn. Don't know, but we have viper snakes as well. We have a lot of dangers in this forest that we've got to watch out for. So we had to come prepared. And thanks to polymill.co.uk, we are prepared. We have night vision, we have thermal, we have weapons to defend ourselves against a pack of wolves or a bear that comes at us. Yeah, we might not survive, but at least we've got a fighting chance. Thanks to polymill. And if you want to see any of the equipment that I use, head over to Polymill website. They will have a seal of approval. They will have my logo, my YouTube logo, next to the products that I use. And that is my seal of approval. I approve of that product. It's getting foggy in here already. It's getting foggy in here. What happened? It's just getting foggy, foggy in here. Oh yeah, no, I know it is. Just keep investigating. Can hear dogs and stuff in the background. So we've got a lot of stray dogs in Romania, but the stories go that all the stray dogs that wander in the, into here become like rabid beasts. They become like, um, I don't know, diseased dogs, which will just attack anything, anyone. So it's another danger to add to the list. So we've been walking for about 10 minutes now or so, and we're getting into the thick of the forest. Now this is meant to be the most haunted forest in the world. Forget Suicide Forest, forget Witchwood Forest, this is the one. This is the one, the one of legend. I mean you can see here, uh, we're starting to get into the thick of it. I've gotta say, I don't think we picked a better time to come to this forest. It is so beautiful with the orange leaves, even though it's going dark. It's gonna be like Monster Hunter, all of us like attacking from different <laughs> angles with the well, different weapons. Just sneaking uh, around so company in different ways. Yeah. I got the spade out, this is a Gerber spade, and yeah. uh, it's just gonna be uh, used for a defense just in case. Let's hope we don't have to, but it has a serrated edge on it. So we can pretty much chop logs up with this. This is what it was for as well, for chopping logs. Uh, but yeah, we can, uh, we can do some damage with this if something comes at us. That's crazy. Yeah. I think we're pitted up. We got the lights. We got the axes. I've uh, given Bucky some firecrackers as well. Now these bangers are louder than gunshots. So if we do come into contact with any kind of animal uh, that's going to cause us harm, you can set one of them off and they should go running for the hills. We hope. Ready for the air. Okay. I said we just keep going like a zigzag, like all the way yeah yeah this is a road but you're like this i don't think there's any paths in here bro yeah no one makes it but highways here <laughs> so some of the stories go that when you come into this forest after so long when you get so deep into it all devices stop working cameras phones everything and uh, now this is numerous reports so only i don't know what i don't know what to expect i really don't we are walking into the unknown completely into the unknown this is proper adventuring. I don't know what does that. Just tons of freaking birds I think. Now directly in the middle of the forest so I can see what's on this dead end really quick but technically. Is that that side? That's yeah apparently. So let's do that but let's come right back here. We want to know what's in this section. Yeah. Yep. I really want to find them and document them. Yeah, me too. This place is so big, it would be impossible to explore it all in one day. We'll just see what we can get. Oh, look at that spider. Where? Oh. The first one I've seen. It's yellow. Damn. 
Another thing we've got to watch out for in here. And there's a lot, because look at all the threads dangling from trees. Where? Where are you looking? Oh, just one up there. Here. Spiders in the trees. Yep. Great. Okay. Oh yeah, there. There's one there. Yeah, there's two. More spiders. Not yeah, just you the see all the webs dangling. Yeah, what the heck? Dangling from the trees. Oh, there's another one over there. Great. Oh, damn it. I hate spiders. Yeah, me too. I've not seen a spider all trip either. Yeah, it was. That was like a dog. It was like a dog, but. Oh, thank you, man. Freaking. No, it sounds like something. What is that? Is that hell? It's no, it's not. I don't know what that is. What is that? Maybe a big ass mutated crow. <laughs> something in a tree. Yeah, I think that's right. Call back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's high pitch. <laughs> it is. Get him again. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Yo, it's responding. Yeah, it's intelligent. Yeah, dude. I can, I'm a bird Yo, or whatever. Dude, I think that's a mating call. Uh-oh. And he's trying to mate with you. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, it's flying. It's oh. Oh. That's it. Oh, oh my God. Like Dude, it just took down a tree. That's that huge. That was huge. What the hell was that? It just took down a tree. It was white. I think it might be an owl. It was an owl. That, Did you see it take down that tree? Yeah. That's Where? amazing. Oh, it's up there in the tree. The size of it. Where is, where is, oh my god. A a giant owl. owl. It's like Ron Weasley's owl. I can't see that. Look at that. It's Harry Potter's owl. Yeah, it's a Ron Weasley's owl. <laughs> no. Oh. oh. What? Yo. <laughs> Whoa, you get scared the hell out of me. <gasps> Oh, I flew away. Guys, not Ron Weasley owl. I meant Harry Potter's owl. I was gonna say, oh my Ron god, rat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what the hell? Are from anything that is starting to downpour. Uh, gonna break it out. So right now, I'm gonna leave the glow stick. Um, just because we are we are venturing, we've been walking for about 40, 50 minutes right now, and no one is remembering where we uh, where we can't see you because Josh is light. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave glow sticks about because we've been walking for about 40, 50 minutes right now, and we could easily get lost. Some strange noises coming from in here, so I'm going to leave some glow sticks about just so if we're in a panic and we need to get out of here, we know which way to follow. Good glow sticks these as well. Military grade. Yeah, these are nice. nice. We use these in the car grade. Yeah, right? we did. Car Turn cave your light off. We Look at that. In the car cave. Yo, hold on. Can we get like a thumbnail or something, maybe? Yeah. It's pretty dope looking. Might be a bit heavy for that branch. Looking. Yeah, it might be. Might dangle though, once you let it go. See if you can, yeah, twist the end up. No. Look, we go over there. Should dangle. There you go. Yo! Eddie, I thought that. you were going to talk then, Eddie. Good shit. So we go, we got it dangling in the tree. I just, I just hope we can spot this, you know, half a mile down the deep in the forest. I think we can. I hope so. It looks great. It's going in the tree. Let's keep going. Well, they said that in that circle area that people like go there and just do like rituals and satanic stuff and they t try to teleport great yeah yeah they found 60 people that tried 60 people 60 people was in this circle trying to open a door to a different dimension yep. <sighs> this just gets worse and worse so we do have a goal there is a circle that we want to get to that's here like it's just open land with like just see, oh, now you're starting to see the fog through my screen. That's the way it looks. Like a terrain. Oh. I don't know what we're deep in it now. That's good though. Oh, what's that? There's a mouse on the floor. Oh, a mouse. <laughs> Hello, mouse. <laughs> Either that way or up the hill. I right, just stand silent for a minute. Oh, 
Oh, the mouse. Yeah, look at Oh, that. whatever that is, jump in there, frog. Where? There, tiny little frog. Oh, that's so green. I thought you were going to say snake. There, look. Oh. Look, see oh, it? Yeah. See, I'm seeing everything, me. I don't miss a trick. I feel like we're in, like, the Stranger Things. <laughs> me too. Like, we're all... Dude, this is, like, a proper fun day of October. Like, I'm loving this. Mm -hmm. You know, like, those what-ifs. It's literally the what-if is what's getting us going right now. The what-ifs. What did we find? You know, the curiosity. So now it's getting pretty steep up here and it's hard because all these leaves and twigs make it very slippy. Josh. <laughs> Hang in there kids. <sighs> we need a I need a pokey stick. This is no joke. Oh! Ten little tiny steps. Okay. This one. This four. We're almost there. This is crazy. I was literally sliding down. And this spider's almost sticking. Sticking. Oh, I see like ten spiders just in the freaking. I see like 10 spiders. Okay. We just, so let's keep going this way. We could, I mean, we could go another way, but this is the, ideally the best way. I don't know, I fell in the mud with this. Guys, there's just spiders all over. Is there? Yeah, don't look at the ground. Dude, they're just covered. Oh shit, I see them. Oh my God. There are just spiders all over the whole entire town. You see them yeah, I just saw them. Dude, I don't even want to... I feel like they're on me. I want to get out of here now. I know, me too, me too. Me too, me too, me too. Sorry about all the panting guys. I'm knackered. My adrenaline is taking a shot because of all the uh, spiders we've just seen covering the floor. Yeah. There's so many on the ground. I'm absolutely knackered. What? Good. I'm knackered. I've got a slight stitch. I'm out of breath, but we can't stop. Because if we stop, we get covered in spiders. For real. Why the hell did I agree to this? Oh yeah, we've been here two weeks. Full moon cycle. Great. And a worry. Great, full moon. This is just getting from bad to worse to horrible now. I'm not enjoying this one bit guys. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Right now we are that deep in the forest. I don't have phone signal anymore. And the floors are covered with spiders. We still have many dangers here. But we can't turn back now. Oh no, it don't. <laughs> Every time we stop now, I march. Just so nothing can crawl up my leg. I almost feel like we're being watched. By the owl. The owl will definitely following us. I like owls, so hopefully that's good luck. So we've been walking for about an hour and 20 minutes now. And I'm so tired. And we're not even at the middle yet. That means it's another probably an hour and forty, two hours to walk back from the circle. And this place is terrifying. Whew. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. If anyone knows what that is, leave a comment. Could be a ritual symbol, might just be a marking for a tree, I don't know. I think that's terrifying. Because it's so heavy. All this mud is weighing me down so much. Making me more tired, but I'm so thankful that I got these 511 boots on. It's getting foggy now, guys. Cold, cold, man. Yeah. And all the soils turned like this, you know, from all the cold for some years back. Jeez. 
I'll leave this charge. Make sure there's nothing in hey, front of us. I like your light. There's a massive cobweb going all the way along us. What? This is super thick now. This is cool though. I just worry in case we don't find our way out. Yeah. But I don't want to be one of the numbers on the missing board from this place. <laughs> Me neither, man. Me neither. Yeah. Seen it. Oh, some deer over there. Cody scared the hell out of us because he just stopped dead. <gasps> so you can see him, man. My heart is beating so fast. There's going to be all kinds of animals in here, friendly oh, yeah. and not so friendly. Oh, good, good lad. Good lad. Dude, if you kill a bear, that'd be amazing, though. You'd be like a Russian. <laughs> Tackle a bear down. Okay. I'll see. I can't see neither. It's like dead ahead. Oh yeah, there. Where? Dead ahead. Yeah, see, see, look at us now. Right through the trees. See it off my light. Yeah, right? I see so it. between them two trees. See it there? I don't see nothing. There, Dan. Oh yeah, I saw it. Yeah. You sure that's a deer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got oh, yeah. a white, it's got a white uh, tail. It's got white on its tail. It's a middle bird. Like, yeah, you can see it just, it just, cla it just crossed the road. Oh yeah, I see it. it. <laughs> Oh, it's getting oh, thick. Oh, there it is. See it? There it is. Let it cross. So far, no wolves. And it won't Nothing be crazy, but there is here. Cross. Lost his mother. Hold on, let it cross. Stay still. I thought it's gone. It's, it stopped. There it is. There, there it goes. A little bumpy. <laughs> Be free. Run. Be free. Well, that's a good omen that there's nothing. Yeah, deer have better senses than us. Yeah. So if there's nothing around here for them. It's <coughs> a really good omen. Hopefully. Hopefully that means there's nothing about. Yeah. We hope. Well, we're out of the circle now. This is it. If only it was daylight to see it. But no, we can still see it. Oh my god, it's just super dark. How bright can we get it? So people understand, like, we are literally in a circle in the forest. The okay. well, There's so many lights on. Yo, this is crazy. Oh my god. Dude, we just, we were in the middle of the woods and ended up in a huge circle. Dude, what is this? I don't know. It's a ritual stick. You never know. No, it is. Dude, what the hell? Can I see your light? Really cool. There it is. Look. Just to show you that we're in a legit circle. Yeah, we came out of that right there. The line don't leave three bits. That's not. Someone burnt sticks here. It's a ritual stick. Yeah, it is. I think that was shaped like a snake. Look at that. Look at it. Look, it's like, it? like it's, Someone cut it. Yeah. So it actually was used for something, probably just to stoke a fire, yeah. or a wizard with a ritual. <coughs> yeah. Fireballs out the tip. Yeah, yeah it's right. actually burnt because of the magic going through it. Chilling out here. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Here you go, man. Thanks. You turn them off. Well, it's good because we can at least show that off in the video, like we're trying to find stuff. Dude, I want a pair of these too. I need everything. Well, dude, you can actually probably get, get sponsored probably get by free, something, yeah. <coughs> so right now, I'm actually using the thermal camera given to me by Polly Mill. We are trying to find out what is in this forest. We keep hearing noises, Bucky and Josh. And Cody, I didn't hear it because I, I was too busy messing around with this. They heard the little girl. But so far, I've not detected any heat signatures. You somehow see it on the camera, it's a green blob. Well, I'm going to keep switching to uh, thermal. Shh, 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 there's people. Turn your light off. Gosh. Turn your light off. Shit, press that button on top of my cap. Press the button on top of my cap. 
It's right on top. Get the thermal out. What's that? There's people. Yo, what the hell? Wait. Looks like there's, there's, there's people. They're actually walking through the woods. What the? Yo. Oh, they're, they're coming, coming here. They're coming closer. No, I seriously. Hear I hear them talking. Oh, they could be a cult. Let's get out of here now. No, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, there's like two or three of them. My light. My light can't even show them. It's pitch black. Where are they? I'm blind. I'm blind. Dude, I can't see them on here. Do you they still see them? Yeah. There. Right. Keeps looking like there's two or three of them. I can hear them Stopped. now. Stopped. Wait. Wait, no, no, moving again. Wait. Hang on. Oh, yo, there is a light. They're coming. They're coming closer. There's a blue light going through. Blue it. light? I see it. Yo, you see it? See it on my screen? Why is someone out here at night? Wait, no, no. Oh, oh, dude. I thought people don't come down here at night. No, we gotta get out of here, seriously. Yeah, you're right. Come on, let's just go. So that thing's real. No, come on. Which way have we got to go? Oh, that's fine. Stay properly. Oh, shit. Keep going. Fuck. Not in the right way, but we're right, so we'll we getting out into the main road. So, right now we're picking the woods, trying to get out. Which way is it, Bucky? If you go straight through it, it takes onto the road. Right, get to the main road. road. Just onto the road, the car will take a bit. Yeah, I'm quite happy getting to the main road. Just need to get out of here. Yeah, sure, Just hope, hope to hell we don't come into contact with those people. I mean, for all we know, there could be people like locals. Just, but that's the thing, locals don't come here, no one comes here. Apart from like cultists, you saw the symbols, you saw the signs. I mean, the time's nearly midnight. Who comes into the forest at midnight? This now feels like Blue Witch. Seriously, Bucky, please get us out of here. Does the sun not even work in here? I'm not walking for another 40 minutes in this forest. I don't know think them people will catch up with us now. Hopefully they'll stay in that circle. But you saw them on the thermal. There was about five or six of them. Apparently we're near the road now. Let's get the hell out of here. I can see lights from the city. Exactly. We're nearly out. Thank God for that. So I've got all kinds of stuff all over me. I've never been so happy to see city lights. I'm sorry, this video has been terrible. Like the shakings and stuff. I've not even got a tripod on me. I just don't want anything to weigh me down in case I had to run. God, he's thrown his shoe. <laughs> God, he's tried flicking the mud off his shoes. And he flew off my foot. <laughs> the, the mud is that heavy. He lost his shoe. Yeah, he flung his shoe into the woods. <laughs> dreaming when we thought we could get the uh, Audi through here. Absolutely dreaming. I tell you what, maybe with massive mud tyres in, I think it'd get through because it's got more power than most 4x4s. Alright, so we just made it back to the car, finally. I'm just gonna get all this stuff off our feet and get to a hotel. Here we go. Right. Well, we got, our, we got our just in time. The heavens have opened, it's pouring down. 
and I would have hated to have been in that forest with the rain because that rain would have knocked all the spiders out of the trees and we'd have been infested.